This episode is brought to you by Care Of. For 25% off your first Care Of order, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter promo code CAG. I just looked up Rainbow Six Siege operators. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CanCast episode number 597. I'm your host, EPD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who can't wait to share his Mario Maker course with you, Wombat. It's uh, course code number 69696969696969. Nice. I think that was mm-hmm. two too many digits. Six, yeah, I just said, don't use six, the last nine, two. Six, yeah, yeah, the one was just in case you missed the first one. Exactly. It's not like it won't work. It'll just stop. All right. It's nice. Yeah. Like yeah. I said. Just like me. It's not like it won't work. I'll just stop. Welcome to the show, right. everybody. I didn't. I stopped listening to while I'm at. I figured he was just making nonsense. But uh, welcome to the About show. Right, yeah. It's uh, it's the summertime, and my whole neighborhood is flooding right now. But I think it's uh, I think it's just stopping. We need the rain. Not that much. I don't need it so like so my gutters are overflowing, and I'm afraid my roof is going to fall off. You'll be fine. Yep. Your roof's not going to fall. It didn't because it's 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 just about stopped. I think. See, all of that for nothing. No, it's, yeah, it's fine. Everything worked out. <laughs> Yeah, and now your plants are healthier. They are. They're pretty healthy See, already. I've, and you were already indoors. Everybody wins. I didn't, Yeah, I tried not to go outside at all today. It was so hot and disgusting. I just, I took, I, I hate to do this, but I took the car to the gym, which is like pretty, that's like, you know, taking the elevator to the gym. I guess. But uh, I was like, fuck that. It's 90 degrees and almost, you know, we're almost getting to Tokyo summer levels of, of, uh, of weather here and that's i i do get it because over the weekend uh you know with my kids summer camp they get a we get a free summer pass to the jcc which i know you were once a member of so you're familiar I'm, i go to a different one but they're all basically i'm no longer down with jcc but you know what i'm but talking you all know about me. yeah exactly and the jcc which is all indoors has a giant olympic swimming pool and my children, instead of wanting to play outside on the weekends, were like, can't we just go to the giant indoor pool? Right. So, Good idea. Yeah. And I, I don't blame them. A, it's empty because, you know, who's going indoors in the middle of summer? And also, I can't really complain because it's... Yeah, exactly. Because at least they want to be active. Unlike you. Unlike me. It's like it's not like they want to hang out inside the house and do nothing. They want to do something physical. So we can't really say no. Like, you know, we tried to get them to go to a big outdoor pool, like a community pool. And they were like, no. What's so great about being and, outdoors? Yeah, why would you want to do that? It sounds dumb. Because you get, you get sunshine. Why do you want sunshine? It's, it's just it cancer. cancer. That's just cancer. I guess. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, well, we went inside anyway. Do you anyway, want a big so. scar on your face, Wombat? Is that what you want? I mean, I do, but that's because chicks dig it. <laughs> you want to look like but. a pirate. Uh-huh. You're just one scar and a big, big beard away from looking like a pirate. And maybe a peg leg. I am. I, I, have, I have the big beard. I have the big beard and the scar. Right. Yep. Shipwreck's a you pirate. You need the hat. His name is also Shipwreck. Right. He has a pirate name. You have the hat? Mm-hmm. Do I have the hat? Yeah. I don't yeah, do have, you have the a pirate. Hat? I don't. You need a pirate. Have you ever hat. played? Uh, have you ever been shipwrecked for Halloween? I have not. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, um, you'd be retired shipwreck, out of know. service shipwreck. Right. I <laughs> I need the bird. You need the bird. That's easy to get. Have to oh, be alive. I do. Ah, that's true. I the hat. Emmeline gonna... does have like a talking parrot uh, toy. Just get the hat. So I'm really, I'm really just the hat short. Is yeah. what it comes down to. And a tattoo. I need to get a tattoo. And a whole outfit. I think you just do that with a pen. Mm. I don't know. That seems not uh, authentic. I don't think shipwreck's tattoo is authentic on the show either, though. You don't even when it switches arms. 
Yeah, exactly. That's how you know that it was fake. See? I rest my case. Case closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear the Snake Eyes movies on hiatus? No. (laughs) I didn't know there was going to be one. There there is. Not... Mm. Ever, <laughs> shock. I think I think somebody got finally got word that they were gonna have a movie where the character never shows his face and doesn't talk the whole time. Right. I mean, it could work. Sure. Mm-hmm. A lot of anything Maybe. could happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably not that though. So uh, we visited Ty at uh, his first sleepaway camp visiting day. He's been to camp before, sleepaway camp before, but never long enough to stay for a visiting day. And it was cool. It was a nice camp. It was. Uh, I felt like I wanted to be at camp, and I felt like I don't know. I don't feel feel like I could be at camp. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like an adult or like an old person when I'm walking through that camp. I feel like, hey, I could. You know, shoot archery and stuff. Sleep in a bunk bed. Does that make sense? Sure. There's probably some kids there to beat at ping pong. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They had three tables. Did you play? <laughs> I did play. Cause it was... <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> you can't walk past the table without playing. I brought, I brought, our, oh, I brought paddles with us, too. Cause oh, of course. And did. not only that, but I sent Ty with paddles because he told me they had bad paddles there. So I said, oh, just take these. I had some old ones that were just taking up space. I said, just take these. And when you're done, you know, you know, leave them at the camp or donate, you know, tell them that you want to donate them to the camp. Um, so, yeah, we played. It was fun. And uh, they had like this huge adventure, not a huge, but it was like really tall adventure course thing. Like it was probably like a four story climbing wall. And then, you know, like one of these like tightrope things made me very uncomfortable just watching the kids do that. And Ty said he did it. And I was like, what are you fucking crazy? (laughs) He didn't do it in front of me though, but he did skateboarding. I saw him do skateboarding and they have like a whole skate park there. that's weird. It's cool. I mean, it's cool, but it's weird. Do they have to bring their own skateboard? No, they have a whole skate park. They, they, I, I know it's a skate park, but that doesn't mean they that have they everything. have everything. They skate- have all the equipment. Okay. And they put on pads, I assume. What do you think? Yeah. They want to be sued every two seconds? I don't know. I've never been to a camp with a skate Me park. Me neither. It was really nice. Was Tony Hawk there? He wasn't. But Ty went down the hill uh, with... Without a guy holding his hand for the first time while we were there. Just with a guy running next to him, <laughs> ready to hold his hand. So that was exciting. It was fun to watch. And I have to go pick him up on Monday. So, uh, yeah. Good times this summer. Where's my camp? I'm Fine. ready for my camp. I think you had your camp. What was it? You had your you had a child-free house for two weeks. Three weeks. Wow. Three and weeks. I'm, That's I'm getting another you could, one. You could have been out archering it up. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have I, indoor archery places. Come on. No, I've been I've been to that ping pong place though near Wombat's house again. Also, we were the only yep. people there I, again. You did not ask me if I wanted to join you, but that's okay. Here's the, here's the problem, Wombat. I, you don't you like suck no. at ping pong. That it's you not even. That's not I'm even the problem. Ping pong, that's not even the problem that you you're bad like at ping pong. Me. That's not even the problem. I mean, that's part of the problem. But the bigger problem is, and don't take that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to say this so it's not insulting. So, let me take a breath. It's no fun to go. With it's you. not that. It's that. It's like you don't. You don't even try. So, like, I can play with people who aren't good, but as long as they're interested in like learning or trying, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, I have no. Interest. I understand that. And when we go, like, we're going. We're looking to get exercise. So we're going, and when I play, even Mrs. Chibi. Like I'm, I you know we're sweat not sweating profusely, but like you I'm know moist what we should do end, is what I'm saying. Next time you go to ping pong, yes, give me a call, yes. and then we'll meet up at the smoke barn across the street. Smoke barn, yes, it's a new barbecue place, oh. and it's supposed to be amazing. Oh, interesting. And it's right on the other side of Hempstead Turnpike. Nice. Like, directly across from where you are playing ping pong. Right. Right. So how about that That instead? sounds good. You play ping pong, and then we'll go and get beef ribs that are two pounds each. That sounds great. Shipwreck, how did I do with my non-offensive uh, critique? 
I, I didn't find anything in there offensive. Good. I was in offended. Perfect. Right. Home run. Yeah. Much better I than I would have done. that you don't like me I mean, and smash. that you don't... You don't want to be my friend. No, it's, I it's get it. strictly, it's straight up that we take that playing time seriously. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're there to throw down. It's very um, weird. Why? I don't know. It's great. I miss it. You know, Mrs. Chibi's getting better and it's making it more fun for everybody. I'll, for I'll go back to the JCC swim laps. So don't know they have ping pong there? Maybe train up. You don't, you don't like it. Yeah. Though. He doesn't like it. No, That's the problem. it's not just not my thing. Yeah, I don't know. I get it. All right. Uh huh. Um, any <laughs> at stub stub thirteen wrote in on Twitter. He wanted to know uh, if you ever found out what's going on with the cable guys in your backyard. Yeah, and here's what made it weird: they weren't my cable guys, and they had no pants, and they had, they had pants, okay. but they were not. Uh, it's not was it my cable company, mm. and I have a gate. So it's not like it's just open and they can walk right back. They, they the had gate. to like physically open a gate, which that's where it starts to seem a little wrong. Like that's where the violation comes in. Like you opened a door to get onto my private property. Kind of. So, yeah, kind of. It's, it's, a door. it's an outside door. Yeah. Sure. But still, it's not yours. And there's even a sign on it that says, please keep closed. Please don't <laughs> touch my gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, it's 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 really in case where you know someone comes to the backyard while we're out in the back and the dog's there, so the dog doesn't. Sure, walk. Mm-hmm. but yeah. What you the, the sign there, you need is beware of dog. Beware of dog, exactly. Do not open. Beware of dog. Rabid dog. And, and and then they wouldn't have opened it at all. But according to our neighbor mm. who was home, mm. uh, they were running new lines and they were going into everyone's backyards. Nice. Yeah. So at least we had eyeballs on them, but still, crisis averted. Not cool. Woo, I was worried. I thought they were burying a dead body back there. No, but they were there for like four hours, which again, weird. Nothing seems to be out of sorts back right. there, so they didn't break anything. Mm. But you know, who knows? It's better than that one time when uh, we had landscapers at the house the the day of my daughter's slumber party last year for her birthday, and they cut the wires by accident, and we had no. TV or internet for like four days. That was a bummer. <laughs> yeah. So, are are you one of these people? You have do you have a ring doorbell or do you just have the other thing? I just have the, the cameras. Camera. So, does does Blink have the same like neighborhoods type of thing? Are you one of those people that posts any <laughs> possible no, person no, no, on no, their no. neighborhood? No. Nope, no. They don't have that. They don't have that. No, we don't Blinks have doesn't that. Have that. Keep it. I think I've posted maybe two videos for my camera on Twitter in the year. Not, no, it hasn't been a year since uh, we got them in November. <laughs> since we have, since we've had them. Right. Uh, so they do yeah, that today, being the second one. They do that in your township. Oh yeah, like in every one of them, there's like no criminal activity whatsoever. It's right. like that's a dude. He's he's coming to like try to sell you like bug protection or to fertilize your lawn or like, right. There, there's no nefarious activity going on here. It's it's a guy coming to your door that that's his job, and he's seeing if you want his services. Yep. Now we have the dog walker who comes to the house late in the late late-ish in the afternoon, like two o'clock, and she will go to the camera and she waves to the camera, and then my wife will unlock the door from work to let her in. That's about the most use we get out of the camera. I thought you had the smart lock. We do. Oh, but That's you didn't get the wife... keypad one, so you can't. No, we don't have the keypad one, shit. so my wife has to do it from the app. She just pushes the button at her desk right. and opens the door right. for her. What if she's taking yeah. a dump? You could take your phone with you. The... In fact, they... most people take their phone with them when yeah, they go Yeah, but you may not get good service in there. But who goes to a bathroom with bad service? I mean, Shipwreck, me, explain, but... to him, explain to him the, the fault in this logic. I, I mean, sometimes know. you don't have a choice. Sometimes your bathroom, the way your work doesn't have good service. Nope, that doesn't happen. Okay. You haven't been in an office building in a long time. I have, yeah. but just not maybe not, you know, in a work environment <laughs> where I'm pooping. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have Wi-Fi, first of all. All right, all right. That's all. And if it's, if it's that time of day, you're going to go to a bathroom with service. All right. Just saying, keypad. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Keypad. I know. We, it, it's on the wish list. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we just got a new door with a big dumb lock on it. See? He's got a big dumb lock. 
That's that's a uh, was a dumb decision. I <laughs> it's fine. Didn't you have a say in that? I I didn't care one way or the other. Really it's good though to walk out of your house with no keys. Well, we have garage doors that we can do that with. It's, uh, it's not not as classy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my door is particularly classy. I'm talking to Shabrak. My door's classy. See. Yeah, well, you, I was saying you were saying that a smart lock makes it classy. I'm no, like, I'm saying not going in through your garage makes it classy. Why would I? Uh, wait, why would I park my car in my garage and then walk out of my garage into my front door? Because it's yeah, classier. What's the point of that? Smart guy. <laughs> classier. Uh, I don't know about that. Your neighbor might think that you're. Uh, I don't know what they think you might be doing in there. What walking from uh, my car into my house? <laughs> doing drugs in the garage or something. They don't see you. They don't see you come out. They don't know what's happening. This way, give them the sense of mind that everything's fine. Yes, that makes. Look, I don't have a door from my inside of my garage to my house. So correct. You're. You're. I'm stuck. That's the difference between me and you. Mm. The one difference is I have a door that connects (laughs) my garage to my house. You don't. That's weird. And and the smart lock. You should get a door put in. No, it's okay. I don't have to worry about uh, it's a security uh, issue now. If I put a door, I in. guess raccoons. I wor- no, I have to worry about Get if my garage door is locked. That way, or not. I thought you had raccoons living in your garage. <laughs> no, I've never seen a raccoon in my garage or in my house. That's how you know they're there. <laughs> I saw a possum last night, though. <laughs> Thing was fucking long. Getting away from the raccoons, maybe. We have deer now in my in my neighborhood, which is different. No. Oh. Deer. We've never had that before. Yep, it's the uh, global warming. Something like that. Maybe. Mm. All right, how about some show feedback? Are we up to show feedback? Sure. Yes, we're up to show feedback. We spent way too much time talking about <coughs> I, <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Fire has to say, thanks, Shipwreck, for the recommendation of the Satisfy sw- Switch Grip. My biggest complaint for the Switch is the fact that my hands cramp when playing for very long. I purchased the grip after hearing the podcast, and it is amazing. It really does make the Switch much more comfortable to play in handheld mode. You saved someone's life, Shipwreck. (laughs) Congratulations. Another satisfied customer. Right. It's a good product. satisfied listener. It's a very good product. I didn't even bother to look at it because... I just never use that thing, but I will look at it now. Oh, it's you should, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I see what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. You're not going to look at it and go, "Oh, it's revolutionary." Right. But it fixes the problems of the sure. switch physically or physically yeah. hurting your hands while you're playing. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Good idea. It's a good margin on that product. I bet for twenty five bucks. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. A piece of plastic, big piece of plastic. And some nubbins. yeah. Well, I mean, once you pay for the tooling, that's yeah. you're pretty much done then. Yeah, it's good. Good job. Satisfy. All right. Where are we here? Uh, we're up to the next one. Now, do you think this guy's name is Cool Mo I, like Cool Mo D, or is it Cool Moi? Is that an I or a J? I think it's an I. Oh. Cool Mo I. Cool Mo I. Cool Mo I Cool Moi. Says... Cool moi. That's what I was. Okay. Cool Moi. GB. Chibi D and Wombat, I recently read a nice article on in Sports Illustrated about Action Park in New Jersey. I read that article as well. Uh, AKA Accident Park, class Action Park. Uh, I was wondering if you guys went there in your younger years and have any tales to tell. AKA. Have you ever been to Action Park? I've been probably five times. It's a, it's a lot. AKA Traction Park. I, I yes. really forgot that one. Track, yeah, yeah I mean, my, my friends like to go there and. You know, I was like, nothing else to do. <laughs> but it was, um, yeah, it was pretty unsafe. I remember being like in high school, I guess. Like, my friend had a car in high school, which was good. Like early in high school. I remember, to, have you been there, Wombat? I have. I, the thing that I remember being unsafe, I remember the, they have like that rapid river thing where you sit in the big circle tube that has the seats in it and maybe holds mm-hmm. six people. They yep. had the same thing, similar thing at Great Adventure at, at that time. But mm-hmm. in this one, you were often just outside of the tube. Like, because I don't know what would happen. Like, the tubes would start fighting with each other, and people would just be in the 
just be swimming along with the tubes, the, those big tubes going by. And the inside of those, you know, that structure, like that fake river that the tubes are going down, it's not meant to have people in it. And like, it's all like rocky and shit. It's like not meant to be touched by people. I remember people getting hurt from that. And I remember, I remember being hosed down because it was just so hot and you were waiting in line in the sun. And I remember, hmm, I don't know. The Tarzan swing? No, I only remember that from the commercial because I- I did that. I, I didn't want to do that. I did the Tarzan swing. And, and for those who don't know what the Tarzan swing, it's exactly what it sounds like. You stood on a line and when it was your turn, they handed you a rope and just pushed you and you went to the middle of a lake and fell. And that was it. And then you had to try to get out of the way from the other people. Like, yeah, then you had to get out of the way of the other people. And the rules, I just remember there were very strict rules where they were like, okay, this is what you got to do. When you get to the end, you let go. If you swing back, <laughs> you get escorted out of the park. Oh, wow. Yeah. But they probably never, they probably like, didn't escort you out of the park, I'm thinking. I know, but that's, you know, when you're 15 and the guy at the thing says, if you swing back, you get kicked out, you believe them because you're stupid. I just remember them like when the guy online would tell you the rules, it would be he would do it like looking at the ground, mumbling. He didn't care what you did. Like uh, this is a park. Right. If you use the rope, you can hold on to the rope. We're gonna push the rope. When you get when the rope hits, it goes over the water. You let go of the rope. If you come back on the rope, you get kicked out of the park. Exactly. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I just remember being hot, and I remember those um, alpine slides. You know, you know, you remember alpine slides. Uh-huh. Th- those are in, ca- yeah. in case you don't know. Those are concrete, um, like half p- mini half pipes that you ride a sled down the side of a mountain. Uh, Rocking Horse Ranch still has those. And I just remember, I don't, I don't know who designed them, but you could you could fall out of those things. Like it, it's just a sled going down a, a tube fast, and you it just had a brake on it, and that was it. And that you just no. I don't think you wore any type of protection, but I remember cutting my my whole arm up on that thing and being very scared <laughs> flying down that mountain. Um yeah, I, as you should have. Been. Yeah, it was like just like a like a I got like a huge raspberry down my arm. Uh yeah, but it, uh, somehow we went kept going back there. Uh we up to I think we're up to watch this bitches. And because it's so hot, I we've been going to the movies pretty much every week. So we saw Rocket Man this week, which is the Elton John movie, mm-hmm. and uh, it's very, uh, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty uh, d- depressing. His life, uh, his his early life is is quite depressing, um, and it's quite different than <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. This is like a musical. I didn't realize. That um, wait, you're telling me that the life story of one of the world's most famous musicians? No, I mean it's like a Broadway. A it's like a Broadway musical put on the screen, is what I mean. Unlike Bohemian gotcha. Rhapsody, which is a movie of you know biopic, I guess you would say. Um, and and I would not say biopic. I would say biopic. <laughs> I was wondering right. about that too. <laughs> I said that I've you made fun of me for that one other time, mm-hmm. I believe. I'd probably continue to make fun of Please you. Please do. I'll still never remember. <laughs> Um, it's interesting how different it is from the Queen movie, but the, uh, I also did not, I was not expecting not to hear any Elton John singing in the movie. That was surprising. Oh yeah. It's uh Taron Egerton yeah, does his own it's, singing. It's the, uh, gorilla from Sing. Yes. Who also <laughs> sang Elton John songs in yes. the movie Sing. Sing. Yeah. That was the, o- really the only complaint I had for the movie. It was really, I thought it was really cool I, how they I, told his I life story. I love that gorilla. He's well, fantastic. yeah, me too. And but I was just I was expecting to hear Elton John, and I was surprised to not. Elton John doesn't sound like Elton John anymore. So well, old Elton John just mix it in. They have computers now. Eh. You know, at least they, in the Queen one, they mixed everything together. I know they got a new guy, and they took Freddie Mercury's vocals, and they kind of mashed it together to make it sound, you know, <laughs> <Bad>. not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, the movie's really good. It's um, it's like it's uh, pretty trippy in parts, and I don't know. I was it was sad to see the, how he grew up. But uh, is John Lennon in it? John Lennon is not in it, but his picture's in it. Mm. Okay. That's how he got his name, right? 
That's what I learned in the movie. Yeah, oh, okay. They hung out a lot. Oh. That much I know. He looked at a picture of John Lennon on the wall, and he said, oh, my name's Elton John. All right, you sure he wasn't looking at the bathroom? <laughs> no. <Please laughs> you sure that wasn't the, uh, the Empire guy naming him? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was good, though. It's probably going to be out of theaters soon. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's, there's not that much in theaters. It's Spider-Man and... I don't know. It's just not. I felt like they usually no. More there, choices. there isn't. Yeah, nothing. you have Lion King this week, but it's not supposed to be good. It's getting bad reviews. I don't want to see it, so I don't. I wouldn't know anyway. I, love, I had no uh, interest from the beginning. I love Lion King. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with the Lion King. I know because uh, I saw it 20 years ago. It's what fine. Is Wombat's review of the it's Lion more than King. fine? It's wonderful. Yeah. <sighs> It's very wonderful, and <laughs> it's, uh, it's a fantastic movie, right? But. And I've watched it a thousand it's, times. It's, it's okay, and I I used a clip of it in my college film making project, mm-hmm. and yeah, it's great. Don't it's not fine. The movie might be fine, just fine. The, Lion the new King movie, is good. the Lion King is. Good. There Thank we go. You. There we go. Thank we got you. It. That's all we need, Wombat. Is that, is that, is that all you need? <laughs> yes. It's it's Lion just King is it's good. just reviewing Wom- or <laughs> the Lion King with better than it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's we we we've got to good. I guess right. maybe that's all we're gonna get to. That's all you're gonna get out of me. What do you think about that? the musical, yeah. The Lion King? I saw that on Broadway. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I enjoyed it. Okay. Better good. than the movie, the original movie? I think so. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's It was cool cuz when good. I saw it I knew I knew the Timon. So I got to we got to take my my wife who I was dating at the time. I got to take her backstage and act like a big shot. Your wife who you were dating at the time? Oh, the wife yes, your my, wife who you yeah, were dating. My girlfriend at the time <laughs> who is now my ex-girlfriend <laughs> because she's my wife. That's an even more awkward way of saying it. I know. But it's uh I would have got there eventually too. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Uh, right. She wasn't always my wife. Right. That's what I figured. Mm-hmm. That's why I was confused. <laughs> uh, a quick read this, bitches. The uh, the new Adventure Zone graphic novel is out. Murder on the Rockport Limited. And uh, my copy came on Wednesday. But I saw that if you buy it at Barnes & Noble, you get um, some cards with it. I think Ty Ooh. would like the cards. So I may have to go to the local Barnes & Noble. Um, but Ty's still at camp, so he doesn't know. If I if I only knew, had so much uh, foresight to have it shipped directly to the camp, I could have like really been a hero. But no. Uh, well, ooh, someone's got something else here on Read This Bitches. What a rare Yeah, I got sent a book. I got sent a book out of the blue. What? Completely unasked. Wow. Yeah, it's the Everything Tabletop Games book. I'm going to look is, it up right now. It's the name of it. Um, it's a good book. It, I, I enjoy flipping through it. So it's, it's just a book that has like two or three, maybe four pages. That's it. Uh, That's so on, short for a book. Right. But they, they <laughs> turned it into like, they didn't stop there. They kept going. Oh, okay. Uh, they got so worried for a second. They, really they wrote like four pages about one game and they went, oh, that was pretty easy. I should, I should write more. Right. So it's, it's just a game like that. If you've ever like wondered what would be a good game in certain situations. Like it breaks down all of these popular board games and pen and paper games and uh, card games um, and tells you kind of like how hard they are to play, how long it takes to play, like what number of people and what kind of like um, situation it's good to play it in. So and it, it kind of explains like what the overall rules of each game are. Uh, it's, it's very useful if you don't like, if you're looking for a book and not just like wanting to search around online for stuff, cause all the information, obviously everything's online for this, but this is just kind of like a, I don't know, total, they, they wrote 316 pages. It's a lot so, of board games. It's I mean, a lot of tabletop board games. games. Yeah. So it's, it's a well put together book. I wish it had more pictures. I will say that. Don't we all? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's 
it's nice to be able to like flip through a game, like to a page of a game that you like constantly hear about or see on the shelves and get a little bit more info on it. Cool. Mm -hmm. So the everything tabletop games book. Fantastic then. Bebo. Wait, what? Bebo. Bebo. Look at that. Who's Bebo? Uh, It's a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Bebo. Go Bebo. Uh, Shopping news. Did you guys buy anything for Prime Day? I did. Two things. You didn't didn't, uh, protest? I I mean, no, because, well... to be blunt, I already I have give a credits fuck. on. Now, my daughter got a lot of Amazon gift cards for her birthday, and she wanted to spend them earlier. And we said, "No, wait for wait Prime for the Day. strike. Wait for the strike. Wait for Prime Day." Because a, we didn't know there was going to be a big strike, and b, the money's already been spent. What are we going to do? Did you explain to your daughter about the plight no, of the again, workers I didn't, in it the just warehouse? Wasn't, uh, it, it really just wasn't uh, something I honestly was a, even really no, aware John of. John Oliver did a whole long segment on it. It's I on YouTube. Watch that. Send that to your daughter. I'm sure she's I, on I YouTube. I think the fact that more people didn't like stop spending money at, on Amazon like made the strike more aware. Like people more aware of the strike, anyways. Wait, so what? I couldn't figure out. Well, I couldn't figure out if you're doing more good by not buying something on Amazon, right? Or if you're if you're doing more good by saying that you bought something on Amazon and then everybody like yelling at you for buying something on Amazon. Both are good. I think you need both. Right. Like Balance. it's very clear. Like if you're organizing a strike and you're going to do it around Prime Day, that's a terrible day to try to convince people not to use Amazon. Right. But Pick it's a some good day. day. Right. But it's a good day to like. Get your, <laughs> your your strike out there, like in the conscience of everybody. Sure, right. That, which is the real purpose. The purpose isn't for like people to stop buying stuff on Amazon. It's for right. it's the, the workers to get their voice out there. Yes. So, it, so it problem worked. solved is what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know that it solved anything, but it, their strike, people were aware of it. Yeah. So that, that's all you can hope for, right? Yeah. Pretty much. So, so did, what did you did buy, anybody, Wombat? What did you buy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, th- I was waiting. No, you're, you're uh, fine. Okay. Uh, Sabrina's iPad broke. It was the one that she had had. That, she, that was the hand-me-down she got in second grade. It, it finally bit the dust. Um, so she got a new iPad, which were they were 25% off on Prime Day. So that's a pretty good deal for an iPad. Especially when you're not really paying for it anyway. And I got Elliot a University of Pittsburgh baseball cap for 40% off. That was it. I bought nothing. Yeah. I think I... Did I buy... I can't remember if it was during Prime Day or not. They they had Lego DC supervillains for really cheap. So I, I ordered that. But I can't remember if that was one of the Prime Days or not. That's a good game. Good. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. I think it was like sixteen dollars or something. And I'm like, ah, that's... that is a good. That's a good price for that game. Right. That is a worthwhile purchase, and I can donate. it. Good. Uh, I think we have new releases here. Excellent. In the right in the middle of the summer, the hot the hot schedule of new <laughs> releases. I mean, this is really desktop bowling is out this week. Forklift the simulation. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, let's go nuts. Well, the, there there is a big release this week. It's just on Friday. When I say let's go nuts, that's actually the na- name of a game. It's I wasn't oh. saying let's go nuts. Gotcha. Yeah, hey, the, but we'll the, cover that that release next week. What? Yeah, exactly. Wait, so that'll what's, be what's next that? week. Marvel, Marvel Ultimate yeah. Alliance Three. Oh, that's a big release. That's kind yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, it's big enough. Oh boy. You better set Speak those. To up. Me. You better lower those expectations, boy. Eh, we'll see. You want to not be disappointed? We'll see. Keep them... uh, let's see. Wait, did uh, we yeah, talk no, about Nelly Kudalot? Nelly who do what? Nelly Kudalot, the foul fleet. Mm, oh, that sounds, like, that sounds pretty good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I've heard good things about Blazing Chrome. 
Yes. It's, and it's on Game Pass. I yes. downloaded it. I've oh, not I played it. it I played it. I played it. I played it. All right. Why don't you talk about it then? Sorry. I didn't know that you were... I honestly didn't even realize it was a new release. I knew it was on Game Pass. I didn't realize it was new. I actually thought it was an old game because it's very reminiscent of an old game. It's essentially Contra, mm-hmm. but with a robot and a lady instead of the two dudes that look the same. And you, you know, start on the left, you move to the right, you shoot a lot of things. You can get, you know, you shoot the the boxes with the letters in them, and you pick those up to switch your gun out, and you shoot more stuff. And it's it's cute. You know, it's on Game Pass. So, you know, it's hard to complain about it. It's, it's, it is what it is. Does that make sense? No. It's like saying it's fine. It is. It is. It's good. It's good. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. All the games are it's good. It's good. You're coming it's not, around, Wombat. It's good. No, it, it's, it, you know, I didn't play much of it. I just played it because I was like, oh, this looks interesting. And it's it just added to Game Pass. I downloaded it and played it a little bit. I tried to get my son to play it with me and he wasn't interested. Hmm. So he wanted to play uh, Star Wars instead. He wanted to Battle swim Front indoors two. like a freak. Yeah. Swim indoors and play Star Wars Battlefront 2. Nice. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We play that co-op together. That's our game. Mm. That's what, yeah. Beautiful. That's our game of choice now. His game of choice. Not table tennis. Not table tennis. He likes to play Star Wars because we went to a neighbor's house and they he played that kid. That kid who's a little older than him taught him how to play Star Wars. So now all he wants to do is play Star Wars like the big kids. Got it. Mm-hmm. We've all been there. Mm-hmm. Wow, there's really not much else this week. Nope. Did you get the Commodore 64 and Amiga Classic remake six pack? I just looked it uh, up. It's not out yet. It's uh, also is it, I don't even bother talking about it. Is it bad? Is it not? I just didn't know. I'm not familiar games? with any of the. I mean, like they're not getting anything you've ever heard that you're gonna remember. Mm. Star Taxi, Turrican Lude Jumper. What'd you call me? <laughs> Hot load, hot load dumper. That's me. Yeah, this looks bad. <laughs> I just, just forget it. It caught my eye with Commodore sixty four and Amiga, but you know that was that was all part of the plan. I did order one of those Turbo Graphics sixteen minis. Oh, you during, did. During Prime. I don't know if I'm going to go through with it, but I'm like ah, okay, it's it's up there. I'll put one in my cart. What's l- I? I'm interested in it. I don't know if it's something I need. I could say it definitely is not something you need. No, I, well, obviously it's nothing I need. My life will be just as full if I never have one, but it doesn't mean I'm not interested. You could tell me how it is. Maybe. If I'm still Maybe. interested in next spring or whatever it comes out. <laughs> uh, is that it? I think that's it. That's it for new releases. Ugh. It is light. <laughs> it's time to Get out there and go to that indoor pool. Right. I'm telling you. You know what? I have to admit, it's a really nice indoor pool. Of course. That's why we don't understand why you're complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just funny. Take the kids kids to the fucking pool. I do. We took them there twice (laughs) last weekend. It seems totally reasonable. It it is reason. Whatever. Never mind. I mean, I'm sorry that I do nice things for my children. Well, it sounds like uh, begrudgingly. No, no. But I went on Friday. Was it Friday, Saturday, whatever it was? Just me and Elliot. We were there for like two and a half hours. Oh my god! And no ping, and no ping pong. pong. No ping Whew. pong. Oh man. Nope. But they have flippers you can put on your feet, and you can pretend that you're a dolphin. Uh-uh. And that's fun. All right. I think it's yes. time to hear from our about our new sponsor. Sure. Are you familiar with care of? I am not familiar with care of, so this is a really good opportunity, I think, for me to learn about it. Yes, care of is a subscription service that delivers vitamins and supplements customized to your specific health needs. I'm following you. <laughs> you take a short quiz and answer questions about your diet, lifestyle, fitness, and health goals, and care of puts together a personalized plan just for Wait, you. Wait, a, a quiz? A quiz. I took the quiz. As did I. Did you pass? And I did. Well, <laughs> that's that's yet to be the discovered. Results aren't in. But I did get a personalized vitamin pack uh, that should be arriving by, I believe, Friday. 
And in it has one, two, three, four, five, six different vitamins based on my dietary needs. Mm. Such fun vitamins as ashwagandha. I know him. Uh, rhodiola. I don't know him. Astaxanthin. Magnesium. Okay. Vitamin D. Uh-huh. And B complex. You know, it's really interesting because I was just talking with a coworker this week who actually recommended vitamin D uh, for someone like me that, you know, is usually up early and, and needs, a, you know, more natural energy. So I took the quiz and without them, you know, without me saying something like that to them specifically, just based on my quiz answers, they're like, oh, this is someone that could probably use something like vitamin D. And someone already said that to me recently so mm. clearly the quiz knows what's up based on the answers that you give long live the quiz which is actually pretty cool the quiz is is it's kind of fun to take because you can answer that you're a skeptic for everything as well and then they just hang up on you no no they, they then close they're the like window. all right we'll we'll take that into account we're still gonna send you vitamins right based upon like i i think my answers were uh, I I was interested in uh, faster recovery after exercise, and I don't know a couple other things, just like well being and everything. But I I fully went through with I'm a skeptic on all of the like questions about that, um, just because I am I I don't know about these these vitamins, but I'm willing to give them a shot. Have they they haven't shown up yet, right? No, Very we've recently. just taken the quiz at this point. Right. Got it. Yeah, but I'm hoping that it will help me get back into a healthy routine and give me a boost this summer. You need that, Wombat. How can we boost you this summer? Well, you know, and I took the quiz and things that I'm looking for are also, you know, I could use a little bit more energy. I could stand to lose a few pounds. Boost. So these are, yes, exactly. So these are the kind of things that that's how I answer the questions. And I'm honestly really excited to get my pack and see how it works. For me, it's super easy and convenient. You, you set it up. They ship it to you. It comes in daily dosages, I believe. And it does, you know, and, and you're set. You have what you need. And, you know, t- we took the quiz. And, you know, I'm really looking to see cool. the difference in myself and in my body that care of makes. Can't wait to look at your body and see the Thank difference. you. And if you want 25% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter promo code CAG. Go to takecareof.com and enter promo code CAG. Excellent. Thank you, Wombat. Mm-hmm. Well done. Good job. Thanks. Thank you. Am I supposed to clap at the end of the commercial? Every, I think you are. Every, yeah. yeah, every every ad you're supposed to clap. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. You did a good job, I thought. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Do you want to talk news now? Sure. I, wait a minute. There's something wrong with this outline. What? It's been what edited happened? without my permission. What? It says no. news multi-platforming and Wombat's rainbow sexy talk. Yep. I'm not I aroused. <laughs> you will. I will be. I was going to say, is it, should it be Wombat's sexy rainbow, rainbow sexy talk or rainbow sexy siege talk? I, c- I couldn't know if the siege should be in there or not. I don't know. Well, go on with your sexy talk, and let's see how aroused I get. See, I had a, I, I had a, 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 I had an Xbox skeptical Live burning a hole in my pocket. I checked the box. He's <laughs> so skeptical. And I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege. Wait, wait, wait. Like, okay, so you wait, you bought like some special edition or something? Yeah, I had the base edition. Got it. Literally the base base one, the one that Chipper has that was a dollar fifty. Got it. That was actually gifted to me. I, I d- didn't. I had never spent any money on Rainbow Six. Mm-hmm. There are four seasons worth of operators of different characters that I did not have. So, and I had some Xbox Live credit. So, for 20 bucks out of pocket, I bought the ultimate edition of Rainbow Six, hmm. which gave me, gave me all the characters from all four seasons. So, basically, the, you know, the super version. About a hundred and twenty dollars worth of stuff. Pretty good for twenty. So, bucks. so now yeah. you're awesome. Is that what happened? So it's it's not necessarily that I'm awesome, although it is kind of cool to go in there and see everything unlocked, as opposed to seeing the gray boxes 
the gray you're a loser boxes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like a real man now, Wava. You now got that, that ultimate. You, I, 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 you've given them their, your money, <laughs> right? You know what? I've been playing so much of that game. It's literally been the only game I've been playing for extensive amounts of time right. over the last like three weeks. Mm-hmm. Sure, and I'm enjoying it. What? What's for what's whatever the difference reason? between the operators? Because when I think Rainbow Six, I think literally no characters whatsoever. Well, that's that, see, that's. This game, if I had to describe it, it's like the anti battle royale, where instead of being dropped off in a big open field, you start with, with no one weapons, person and you're all of a sudden have a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, instead of a hundred people, it's only ten people, and the maps are fairly condensed, and you're not looking for weapons. The weapons you start with are the only ones you get, and each character has different weapons, and there are very few characters that have the same weapon as another character. So they don't have There's personalities, they may just have, have weapons? They have different weapons and they have different special abilities. Okay. And the different special abilities come in very handy and you want to be on a team that has a variation of the different abilities because different abilities come in useful in different situations. Like there's, uh, uh, what's her name? I believe her name is Frost. Oh, she She's has one of the ice magic. Ones. She doesn't have ice magic, but she does have bear traps, and she could set up bear traps right by the doorways, and then I actually recommend throwing barbed wire on top of them, because it makes wouldn't them harder that, to see. Wouldn't that set them off? No, it does not set them off. You can put the barbed wire on top of the bear trap. Carefully. And then, you bar- and then when the person walks into the doorway, bear trapped, and that's kind of cool. There are people that can you know, blow a hole through a wall. And there's also a guy that could use a sledgehammer and knock down the wall. But there's also a guy that he could just hook up a little thing on the side of the wall and you take a few steps back and you push your button and it shoots like three grenades into the room and you just hear it go bloop, 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 and then poof, and that's pretty cool. I've killed a, a couple of people that way. And it's very satisfying, but each character has its own different unique ability. It's, I can't believe you have it and you haven't played it yet. It's almost... And I've mentioned this before. If you're going to tell me it's exactly people, like Borderlands again, I'm I'm not going to no, believe you. No, it's like if they made a G.I. Joe game like this, it would work. Like you could take the different, because each one of these characters is like a rip-off G.I. Joe character. Wait, do they have, do they have like the flair? What do you mean? Like are they... Like G.I. Joe characters. Yeah, they have like, skins like, and everything. They've well, got outfit, like, different outfits. Yeah, different outfits. They all have different... Stuff. Yes, everyone looks completely different. It's not just like another, a, a guy that has a baseball cap on, another guy has no, a baseball it's cap. The, no, it's... No, if you countries. put like... Like, yeah, everyone is from a different country. Sledge is a dude with a sledgehammer and a gas mask. Don't ask me why he has a gas mask, but that's what he looks like. And then they just released the, the, the stealth guy with the veil on his head who looks like Cobra Commander. I mean, you know, every one of these people looks completely different. There's a, a, a Capitao, who's a Brazilian guy with an eye patch and a, and, a, and a crossbow. And he's the only person with a crossbow. And you know what? The crossbow is badass because the crossbow shoots. And when the arrow hits the wall, it sets off explosions for some reason. Again, it's, it's so G.I. Joe-like. Everyone looks different. Everyone has their own things going on. And the rounds are fairly quick. If they actually made a G.I. Joe-themed season, that would be the best thing they could ever do. Ubisoft has done G.I. Joe licensed stuff before, so they, they must have a contact. Kind of bums me out that they haven't done it. Click on that link I just put on, on there when I just looked up Rainbow Six Siege Operators, and you'll see why I don't know any of this at all. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can kind of see how they look. They all you know. look <laughs> like the these exact pictures same look person. a little gray. I know. Well, <laughs> Valkyrie has the has the the thing on her head, and you got it's the, the same the person with a different shield. hat. It looks it, it looks different when you're playing in game. <laughs> right, but this is it like does. this is what I see when I, I when know, I look up. It's all gray and black. I, it's all gray. I and black. understand. I, I I understand your point, but no, you're wrong. That's fine. I, mean, I, that... I I'm perfectly happy being wrong. I'm just saying that this game and you already own it, so it's not like you could say I can't believe I bought this game because of you. You should play it and check it out. We should play together. I really think you would like it. You could see Capitao. He's got the little uh, the hat with the eye patch. If you scroll down. Um, 
These character and, yeah. designs do do absolutely nothing for me. By the those way, those are probably like the standard skins, which are like basically mm-hmm. like military uniforms. When you get to like yeah, the better kinda, skins, they're more. But again, it really comes down to you're not looking at the skins when you're playing anyway. So you know, whatever. Um, I'm, I, uh, I'll try it sometime, but I, I'm still. But he won't tell you when. <laughs> right, I won't tell you when. Um, <laughs> I'm still playing Borderlands Two though now. I'm back into oh, that. Come on, give it a break. You've already finished that game twice. No, I, I'm still going through the DLC. There's a lot in this new DLC. I finished the main story of it, but there's a whole bunch of side quests and everything. Oh, you're the worst. A game of Rainbow Six takes at max 15 minutes. You can find 15 minutes and play with me. That, that 15, 15 minutes. minutes does, that's a that's not appealing to me. I'm just saying, at least you'll, because you'll play more once you've realized, oh, this is a lot of fun. Uh, it's That's how they hook you. It's just multiplayer, though? Yeah. Uh. It has the terrorist hunt, which you can play alone, and it has, like, uh, operations, which you can play alone. Those are only alone. There's, like, training. But, it's like a... Yeah, but the but the meat of the game is the, yeah, the yeah. five-on-five multiplayer. Yeah. And if I enjoy it, then how bad could it really be? And uh, yeah, and what is this? Someone asked. Someone asked. House at House Punter wanted to know who my favorite operator was. Having just unlocked the ultimate pack, you know, I, I don't really know. Although I do like uh, Thermite from the un- original unlockable set, as well as Sledge. And from on the defense side, I like um, Rook. And I like, oh, like, why can't I think of the guy's name? The guy who with the armor, the arm who puts the armor plating on the walls. So plate that man. would be my, huh? Plate yeah. man. <laughs> plate man. So that, that would be my. Metal dishes. Wall. Dishes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he puts metal plates in the walls. I get it. Dishes. That's funny. So Castle, I believe his name is. Castle and Rook. Nice. Which, isn't that the same thing? Um. So there's that. Only in chess. In chess, yes, that was the joke. So check it. it out. Play it. I have everything. I have it on but PC. You don't need everything. I have it on PC. I know. Well, you should buy the uh, the no. the Xbox version for twelve bucks. How about it has the season one operators? Uh, so you get you'll have uh, shitty. Oh, I get RPGs. shitty and uh, sucky. <laughs> Great. You'll get shitty and sucky. No, you'll get the, get, the eye patch dude with the crossbow. I get a shitty with a nice gray uniform and sucky with a nice black uniform. No, you get the dude with the you get the Canadian girl with the bear traps. Oh, is Canadian, is Canadian shipwreck? Is he in the pack that I have? Or no, you don't have any of the Canadians in your pack. Sorry, Boo. sorry, dude. I ain't gonna think about it. But. I like how down you guys are on something you won't even play with me. I'm not down on it. I'm just, I'm just being honest about my opinion, just of what I see yes. when I look, look up stuff. I know, but it. you haven't even booted the game up yet. So that's, I'm telling you, you own it, boot it up. Blame shipwreck. I'm in the clear because I've played it and I, uh, I'm invested in Apex Legends. Well, that's just it. It's like, it's like for me, it's the anti Apex Legends. That's fine. Mm-hmm. It's not why though. Very similar. Mm-hmm. It's not really anti, but I don't think they're similar. They are online only. Uh, uh, yes. Um, filled with micro. That's literally filled where it with stops. microtransactions. Yeah, there is. A too um, many of those. Okay, you know, team of five instead of team of three. Um, shoot people yeah, with guns. Shoot people with guns. Run around. They're a first person shooter. It's no, not much running. You don't really run around. Well, there's some running. It's a lot of crouching behind things and waiting for other people to walk. There in. is a lot of crouching. But you can repel <laughs> up buildings and you can blow up walls. Those things. I, know. I found I Butt Stallion hunt. last night. Who? In, Butt Stallion in Borderlands Two. Congratulations! I know it's very exciting. This is. But I hope people like hearing me talk about Rainbow Six because that's where I'm at these days. I'm nice. fine with you talking about Rainbow Six. I just don't think it's. I I can imagine that game i can imagine playing it i do not think it'll get its hooks into me i'm not saying that it's going to be your favorite game i'm saying that i think that for 20 minutes once a week you would enjoy playing around with me 
That's all I got. I can believe that. I can be led to believe that to be true. Yeah, that that's that's ba- that's the basis of my hypothesis. Mm. On a Friday or a Saturday for twenty minutes, you and I could play around, and you would say that was not the worst thing I've done. This week. <laughs> I believe it. Yep, that that's, that's that is my whole mission statement. Can John no. Snow just send me a code that has like all the operators so I don't have to play with shitty and sucky? Why don't you ask John Snow for a code for the Xbox version, and the three of us could play? And we could stream it. I just did. And and it would be the most popular thing on the internet. And everyone would be like, this is amazing. What do you think I'm doing? Perfect. This is it. You get it on you get that on the Twitch and your Twitch channel, you're gonna get all the the chips and bits you can uh, you would know what to do with them. Right. I will um Right. Once we're ready to relaunch Mm -hmm. the new website, I'll start streaming on Twitch again to promote it. Yeah. That's why I'm I'm really like Honing my Apex Legend skills right now, so that when I when it comes showtime, I'm not embarrassed. I was gonna say you haven't streamed in forever. I know. I'm waiting for something to, to for a reason to do it. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for something to promote. Rainbow, playing CAD cast team up Rainbow Six would probably get the people motivated, uh, especially now that Chipper has that new fancy headset. Fine. How is that headset? Um, Have you tried it yet? No, I, I have not had time right. to right, we'll try that one out yet. Next so week. Next, next week. Next week. You should play Rainbow Six with me and try it out. Um, while we're in multi-platforming and Wombat's Rainbow Sexy talk, did you see this Mike Tyson thing? He just learned about being Balrog in Street Fighter? He just, and the whole M. Bison thing. Really? Uh-huh. He said that, but Do apparently... You think he just remembered yes. about that? Yes, yes. Because at the end of this Kotaku article, it says... Um... <laughs> it said that he meant that it happened before that somebody mentioned it to him before in some other interview and he didn't and he um he, he called them dirty motherfuckers and jackasses hmm. so tyson had heard about m bison on his podcast on his podcast in april then calling the game's creators dirty motherfuckers and jackasses when espn showed him the you know m bison now he was like, holy, he said, holy moly, does he look like me? I don't know. He's smoking a lot of weed right now, Mike. He should. Mike. And he's also investing in a, um, he's trying to create a weed resort in Nevada, I think. So something about it. But uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> How could he not know about that? That game was a phenomenon for a long time. Yes, but I mean Street Fighter Street Fighter was a phenomenon for a long time, but first of all, M Bison It doesn't uh, really States look like doesn't, him. doesn't look like him. Balrog looks like him. Yes, we know that Balrog was supposed to be M Bison and they switched it for that very reason. But if you're not in it, like knee deep in that situation in that culture, you think, I'm sure he has other things he's more worried about. Like getting, I don't know. Getting hit in the head. Getting through prison. Right. Yeah. All right. I just thought it was, I just read that and I said, how is that possible? And it sounds like it's not possible because it sounds like he did hear about it. And Too busy looking at face tattoo books. Yeah. Maybe short circuited somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, Are we done talking about Borderlands? For this week. Okay, good. Oh, I did notice um, at... Uh, KWM McCain wrote in and he asked if we're up to date on the new Assassin's Creed DLC and wants to know if it's worth going back and playing. I, I haven't, but I've seen some posts about it and there's like this, uh, they have this whole uh, Atlantis thing going and they base people are saying that it's pretty impressive. But I don't know. That, yeah, it's like, supposed to be very good. But it's it sounds like it's super long. Like the, I guess the third part of the Atlantis DLC came out, so that means there's two other parts that it seems like a lot. Is it really worth them making all this content, you think, for the season pass? Like, are that many people? I don't know. It seems to be like the Ubisoft way is to make a lot of content for, these, for games that are not new anymore, but <laughs> there's still more operators coming to Rainbow Six. Well, that I understand, because they just, they're, that's sort of a platform for them. And I think until they... 
Is there well, this the new no one any, comes out? There's no voice soon. work in that for the for the operators, right? Mm-hmm. There, mm-hmm. there is. Not a lot. They don't say much. But you don't unlock voice lines or things like no, that. No, 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 no. That's no, that's no. sort of par for the course in games like this. You should be able to do that. I mean, that's something they can put in their loot yeah, boxes. No, this is just it's it's weapon skins. Their big thing, the hook, uh, for for people to buy stuff are the charms. Charms is yeah, what, yeah, those uh, are lame. I don't mind them. All right, no more, no more, a... no more Rainbow Six. We're done okay. talking about Rainbow Six. I have Six. like fifteen of them anyway, though, that I got Green. free. Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed. Anyway, it looks good. I'm tempted to, Borderlands to pick two. it up. Borderlands Two, old games. <laughs> All right, let's let's quickly wrap up. The... There are no new games to talk I about. I know, I know. Let's wrap up the the, the Nintendo news for this week that okay. came out. They're coming out with a new model of the Switch with a better battery. It's the same as the one that you have now. It just has a better battery. Yep, and. <laughs> and there's new Joy-Cons coming out in different colors. Nice. Because if you like colors, they got more colors. Do they have the better D-pad on them, too? No, they do Is not. It... Oh, then fuck those things. They're also... But you're not going to get the uh, like Harvey Dent ones? I do like the Harvey Dent colors. <laughs> those are good colors. Oh, I, The purple. Let me see the that. purple and orange. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. That's a good joke. Good joke. Good Thank one. You. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. This, those were announcements that are made, and because it's Nintendo, they made news with those announcements. Yep. Right, and people, and we tra- just—that's uh, basically it. <laughs> uh, at Coke Logic writes in, why didn't they just include a dock port on the Switch Lite? That's the the thing they uh, announced last week. That, which- I don't know because they don't want to. They, if you Oops. want something that goes in the dock, buy the more expensive one. Uh, for I mean. I thought we talked about that last week. It, it's because I'm sure they've depopulated and made a new board in there that doesn't have the video out or the 1080p capabilities in there. Right. They have to yeah. make it cheaper. It's $100 right. cheaper, right? Yeah. The reason yep. why it's cheaper is because... It's a different system. It's, a di- <laughs> it's different parts. They took out components that were expensive. Right. It's probably got a slower processor. I, it, it, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm sure it has a slower um, GPU G- in it. GPU, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense. If they, yeah. I'm sure they looked at the numbers and saw that the majority of people were playing this handheld mode. And if they took out that right. feature, they could cut the cost down $100. I'm pretty sure, like, the people who already own a Switch, okay? Mm-hmm. And the people who, are, who, who already own a Switch and would consider buying a Switch Lite, Switch Bleh, Switch whatever, uh, those people are, like, pretty much going to buy it no matter what or not at all. There's like no like, you know what I'm saying? Like no one, like person like me, like no way would I buy another Switch. But there's some people who are such Nintendo fans, like they're just looking for any excuse to buy another Nintendo piece of Nintendo hardware. So. Which is fine. Which is fine. It's, I mean, it's totally fine. It's the same thing with like Xboxes. So you Nintendo bought, doesn't need the to one touch. X. Right, it's totally fine. But Nintendo doesn't need to target that product to you because you're probably already going to buy it anyway because you're you're a big fan. So they're targeted to the person who just needs like price is like the most important thing, and they're not looking for every. They're not looking. It's not doesn't have to be a superior product to what already exists out there. It's a it's cheaper. It's entirely not meant to be. In yeah, this it's case. cheaper. It's a third of the price. It says light right there in the yeah. Um, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, so I I don't think it's a deal breaker for most people, right? As, as Cook Logic, I I think it is a completely different type of product, right? Than I think than the he's Switch. thinking he's thinking it's a deal breaker for most people who already own a Switch. I think is like the end of that sentence in mm-hmm. his mind, um, which I agree, and it, as it, I think it's supposed to be for the most part, because the big fans are going to just buy it anyway. Um, I have to make a. I don't know, a correction to my Mario Maker 2 complaints from last week. I, I don't know who the, who the bigger moron is, me or Nintendo, but you can decide for yourself. Maybe both. So when you – remember I complained that I didn't like how you had to download the levels before you could uh, play them? And then the yes. whole procedure, like just the whole interface was – it's a lot of button pushing to get to from point A to point B of what you want to do. So – on each level, there's two boxes for what you can choose to do. And the one that says download, okay, which is like a 
with an icon for like the, whatever the universal symbol of download is, something that makes sense, an arrow. The other one says play, okay? But it's a picture of like a movie icon with like, you know, like the, basically if I told you what is a... Uh, the symbol for video, like an international yeah, icon it's, for it's video. Yeah, it's a clapboard. Yeah, like a clap. It's a clap. Yeah, I think it's a clapboard. It's a clapboard right. with a place right. with the play button in the middle. No, and I'm with you. If I saw that, yes, my initial reaction would be I hit that to see a short yeah. movie of of that right. level. And apparently, if you just push that, you can play the level. And I, I get it. It does say play, so I should have at least clicked on it. But when you look at that button. I don't know who would look at that button and think, "Oh, I'm going to play a video game now." Play, there's, play game. Yeah. There's no, there's no like picture of a joystick or some buttons or any. It's it's literally like the international symbol for movie. <laughs> so, okay, I'm a moron, but Nintendo also morons. It's a double moron situation. It is. It is, and that when that happens, it's just moron palooza, and it's bad things happen. <laughs> So, uh, yes, I was corrected. Um, but anyway, uh, we got a message here from... Are we, did we talk about Marvel? We talked about Marvel Ultimate Alliance already. You guys are hyped for it. Whip Smart Banky wants to know. But uh, I'm telling you, temper those expectations from what I've heard. I, I, I've got a temper. They're already tempered, I think. Good. Good. The, the, the second they said it was a Switch... <laughs> <laughs> right. Exclusive. I, I think yeah. that came with a certain Good. amount of, oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, let's hit the CAG bag. We've got a question from at Retro Amigo. He wants to know if if myself or Shipwreck has ordered the, I don't know how much it costs, but I saw a picture of that Unicron figure. Figure Ooh, is not an I accurate word. I haven't seen word. this yet. Oh, man. I don't have a link for it, but it's like a statue, basically. It's it oh, must here, be. I, I see it. Biggest Transformer figure ever. Yeah. How much is that thing? It's got to be 500 bucks at least. Mm, um, $575. I, okay. Yeah. I mean, it looks big. It looks like it's not something you can just casually put in one's home unless you have a mansion like Shipwreck. I, no I mean, I already that... have a Unicron. Right. That's but, good enough. I think. But do you have the, the biggest? Unicron. You don't have the the six hundred. Uh, what was it? Five seventy five. Five seventy five. I mean, yeah. for that price, he better be eating some planets. <laughs> I got something he could eat for five hundred and seventy five dollars. Dog poop. Yeah, that would be great. That would be. You'd pay you know for what? That. I would. I would be in for that. <laughs> <laughs> the planet mode of him is pretty great, though. I will say. It does look cool. It looks totally cool. Though. I mean, there's no totally, 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 doodly, totally, doodly, totally, totally. IGN has 34 images of it. <laughs> How do they look? <laughs> Pretty much the sell- same are one after another. Are you going to get it? Are you sold? They have one picture of his left leg and one picture of his right leg. Well, who's, why would you assume they're the same? This is highly detailed uh, sculpture. Does, does it? Can I put it outside as a sculpture, like in my I garden? Know. Does does it have Orson Welles' voice? I mean, no. it's only two. Or wait, feet was tall. it Orson Welles really or was it? You would put... Yeah, it was Orson Welles, right? Yes, it was his last performance. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I I, I don't think. I don't think I can swing this one. <laughs> I like those hands, though. Two feet, you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, two feet over yeah. two feet i want like a six foot one made out of metal that i can put in my backyard that's something that my neighbors would be like hmm i think we're gonna stick with the bots right chip <laughs> you're right with what oh bots a mini those little the, the bot grill, bots the grilled cheese things you're right. <laughs> yeah that sucks mm. um Oh, Medicare for All is asking about the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Is that what you just bought or the other one? No, that's what no, I bought. What it, oh, yeah, okay. we already talked about that. Good. Yep. But did you get it? Yep. It doesn't come out no. until no, next year. No, it doesn't come out oh. yet. So I guess he you, ordered it. Oh. Pr- so how does, why is he asking it. what we think about it? I think he's probably just think, asking in general. Come on. It looks, it looks they, interesting. They I never had a TurboGrafx-16. The, it came out with a list of games. Okay. Games are good. Yeah, the games are good. Got to have games. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, that's enough questions. I don't like these questions. All right. <laughs> At, well, maybe one. At Britain Rupp asks, how often do you buy new socks? I didn't, I, I, got, I misunderstood this question, but okay. Go ahead, Juan. I got two pairs of socks today. Today. They're in my bag. I have to take them out. Well, how often? That's not the question. How often I, do you buy new socks? Not often enough. Like once a year. But someone sent a box of socks to work, so. New ones? Socks. Are, yeah, new ones. Okay. Are they tie-dyed? They are not tie-dyed. They are fancy socks. Ooh. Yeah. So I got two pairs of fancy socks. I, what um, video game characters do they have on them? Uh, they have uh, little horses on them. Fancy. <laughs> Polo horses? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe. Ooh, that's very fancy. <laughs> Butt stallions? They are. <laughs> that's exactly what they are. Butt stallions? Mm-hmm. Yeah, from Borderlands 2. Oh. Um. So we have no answer for this guy's question. That's pretty much. No. Who as as often as needed. Right. I don't, yes. tra- I don't put that on my calendar. No. I recently was frustrated with my sock situation. So what I did was I threw them all out and ordered new ones from. Uh, uh, I've you know size thirteen shoe feet, so I gotta buy like the large socks. So I got Nike ones because they got large. I have some socks, new socks coming, but that's a teaser for a future episode. Oh man. It's exciting. All right. Mm-hmm. Let's wrap things up. Let's remind everybody of a few very important points. First of all, LI Retro is right around the corner, August 10th and 11th. It's less than a month away. Well, less than a month away. You can come see a live cast on Sunday from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the theater. It's going to be fun. There's also a Retro and Chill Saturday night event, which we're going to be at from 7 to 10 p.m. And what else can we tell you? Oh, well, of course, you can get 25% off your first care of order by going to takecareof.com and entering promo code CAG. Also remind everybody to follow us on Twitter at GPD, at New Wombat, at Shipwreck, at Video Game Deals. And of course, you can follow, uh, you can get Video Game Deals on Instagram at, uh, what is it? At CAG Deals. That's what it is. Anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. We'll catch you next week. Bread's done. Hi. Now's the time to plan a great summer of fun for your child at Young People's Day Camp. Let me show you how Young People's Day Camp makes fun happen. At Young People's Day Camp, your child is picked up and brought home by Camp Bus. In between, the days are filled with fun activities. There's boat rides, old summer sports, long swims in the pool, arts and crafts, weekly field trips, and so much more. All under the care, supervision, and instruction of state licensed teachers and administrators. There are two to eight week programs available. And for the 16th anniversary year, tuition is just $110 a week for an eight week program. Camp shirts, tote bags, trophies, awards, and banners are all provided free. Act now to reserve a place for your child. For the camp nearest you, call in the five boroughs, 718-447-8010, New Jersey 521-3600, Long Island 731-1000, Westchester Rockland 664-8200, and for our new teen tours, 718-338-TEEN. Teen. 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 Teen.